So for this question, they ask, rank the following compounds in order from largest dipole to smallest dipole. So try to figure this question out. And um, I drew the dipoles, so that might uh, give it away, but you can still try it out. And then just uh, after you're done, um, I'll tell you the answer. So moving along, uh, what happens is you have to analyze whether each structure cancels the dipoles out or not. And then you have to look at what is the most electronegative atom in this situation. So your first assumption might be that this, is, this would be the strongest because it has an oxygen and oxygen is the most electronegative atom um, out of all of these. However, that's not the case. This is actually kind of tricky because this, if we analyze this um, bond right here between the carbon and nitrogen, between carbon and nitrogen, there's actually a triple bond, and I can I can draw that out. Um, so if I draw that out, let's see. Uh, between so we have H three uh, C carbon, and then think about it. So carbon usually has four bonds, right? So we only have one bond. So that means that there has to be a triple bond between carbon and nitrogen. So there'll be a lone pair also. So there has to be a triple bond. So triple bonds are ex uh, incredibly strong. So this, in this case, even though it's a less electronegative atom, right, because nitrogen and carbon are both less electronegative than oxygen, um, in this case, since it's a triple bond, it will actually beat oxygen in terms of um, the dipole. So it will actually have the largest dipole. So this will be one. Um, over here, uh, now since that's taken care of, uh, there's no other electronegative atom um, that's as strong as oxygen. So this one will be two. Uh, over here, uh, let's look at the other ones, right? So this one has carbons and nitrogens. This one has carbon and nitrogen. And this one only has carbons and hydrogens. So these two have uh, nitrogen, so we'll look at those. So this one, right, let's look at it. So the carbon here um, will be attracted to the nitrogen because nitrogen is more electronegative. The hydrogen will be attracted to the carbon, and then the carbon will be attracted to the nitrogen. So that, and the thing is, none of these cancel out. They're all pointed in different directions. So this will be pretty, it'll have a pretty large dipole. Uh, let's look at this one. So even though each one of these, um, it's carbon to nitrogen, right? Um, the thing is, since all of these bonds are exactly the same, and since it's in this structure, all of these actually cancel each other out. So this one, um, even though my arrows don't look like it, they actually, um, since they're in the same direction as each of these, the diagonals cancel, cancel each other out. And mathematically, it works out. So, um, so all these vectors cancel each other out. Therefore, it actually has almost no dipole. So that means that this one is, um, is going to be stronger. So this one will be 3. So, so far we have one, two, three. So finally, we just concluded that this one will almost have no dipole because all these vectors cancel each other out. So finally, we have to look at this one. So for this one, even though there's only carbons and hydrogens, um, there will actually be a dipole here, right? So there'll be, the hydrogen will be attracted to the carbon. Um, so therefore, um, and the thing is, these two don't cancel each other out, right? So um, because carbon and carbon, they don't attract each other, but hydrogen is going to be pulled into the carbon. And so there's no arrows to cancel these two vectors. So therefore, this will be more, um, have a larger dipole than this one. Because this one, even though there it's nitrogen, um, everything cancels each other out. Uh, but this one, nothing cancels it out. So this one will actually be 4, and this one will be 5. So that's the order of this, um, of this problem. So it'll be 5, 1, 3, 4, 2. And, um, and because it said, it said from the largest to the smallest side pole. So this one will be the strongest because of the triple bond. This one will be the next strongest because of the oxygen. This one because 
it has nitrogen and nothing cancels it out. Uh, this one because uh, nothing cancels out these vectors. And finally, this is the weakest because all of its vectors cancel each other out. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.